Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel. And Christmas in April. Yep, it's the 25th again, and we are trying to catch up or get ahead on our Christmas. I'm going to scrap this picture of some of my grandkids and also great nieces and nephews. And we were at our family Christmas party. I'm using, it's a Cartabella. Uh, Santa, <laughs> Santa's workshop, that's what it is. For a second there, I forgot, but yeah, Santa's workshop. And I went ahead and pulled, well, some of the scraps that were in the collection out and thought, well, I'll use them on my layout. And I first thought I'd just make banners going down, but I decided to do it the opposite way. Dorothy, had, is, who is scrapbooking Quebec, had done it on well she had much much shorter ones on a double page layout a while back and i thought if i don't forget i'm going to do that sometime so i do on those three right there and then i have two little banners and i forget i do them the normal way when i would have planned the other way and i couldn't redo them because it either make them too short or I'd have to find some other paper to do them with, and I wanted to do them with that. But you'll see them in a little while, and you'll think, ah, that's where she messed up. <laughs> but yeah, I did them both before I ever even thought about it. And the reason I planned on putting them like this was I thought about putting like, you know, like on draperies, pullbacks and stuff. They got like a little button there, and I thought I'd put something there. However, I decided I liked them the way they were, and I didn't put anything on them at all. But, yeah, um, I'm going to use three different pattern papers there. And that one, in my head, I was thinking that uh, I could just make it the long part of that. And then when I flipped it over, I seen that the ornaments were going a certain way, and I didn't want them going the wrong way, so I have to fill in the gap with my photo I probably would have moved it over a little farther and not put that striped paper on it if it hadn't been for that but I really needed something to help cover up my gap so I am going to cut out that striped paper also where I first intended to put another banner maybe I hadn't quite decided what I wanted to do with it I even thought just part of my mat however it's going to be bigger than that just to fill in that gap. And I knew I wanted to use that banner that's on the sticker sheet that says Merry. And I first thought Merry Christmas, but I am going to do it a different title after all. Because the Christmas just wasn't working on there. I could have used that one that's laying there maybe, but I decided to do it differently. And there's my twine, and I know I've talked about how much I've got <laughs> I had gotten it on Black Friday, peachycheap.com, and they had a special. I think it's like six or eight rolls. It's several, and all kinds of different colors, and it's the thicker, heavier twine. And I've been using on it 10 years, and just, well, basically every Christmas and on my layouts, and I've still got plenty. So you can tell how big those rolls were. I got my money's worth. Because I think with shipping and everything, it's only like 19-something. But yeah, I got my money's worth. And I have shared many times with Scrappy Buddies. I went to put those stickers down and they weren't showing up very good. So I decided to put the red behind them. If I had more green that I've already used, because I did use a scrap, I would have maybe done the green since that is a red stripe that's there but I didn't have enough to do the banner with but I I was um still I still like it the way it is I mean I might have liked it better with the green but I do like it and I put foam tape underneath each one and I'm going to put some of the little holly leaves on each end where the where I glued it down to cover up the glue. Yeah. Only I'm thinking more like a swag thing. And that you got a tie back. And that's what my holly is. But it's really to cover up the glue. And those stickers. Oh this is the title that don't work. You will see it blends in. 
and I thought about putting cardstock behind it, and then I thought, no. Well, what I do decide to use, I end up putting cardstock behind it anyway. It's pretty busy right there, so I wasn't sure anything would show up very good. You see that viewfinder right there? Well, in a minute, you won't see that viewfinder right there. I got kind of carried away putting the embellishments on, and you can barely tell it's there. And only because I know it's there, I can barely tell it's there. But I seen that uh, when I was finishing pulling out my stuff that I plan on using on the layout, I seen that chipboard of Chamel's, which I've had many years, and I've never used the globe, and I've loved it ever since I got it, and I thought, I am going to use it on this one, just because. <laughs> and so, yeah, it is going on here. There's a few other chipboard ones right there, and I'm going to try to use them on some layouts this year. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really have any paper left other than that 6x6 six six I showed earlier with the Chamel, but I do have embellishments. So... Yeah, I am using that chipboard globe, and I am really thrilled with that. I the I believe that uh, viewfinder that that I stuck on there. I believe it was from. I'm thinking maybe it might it might have been the ephemera. I might have fussy cut it out of something. I don't know. It's been a while since I used this collection. I don't think I used it last month. I think I used a different one. But, uh, yeah, I pulled those uh, Simple Story stickers out. And I'm going to use a few. And that first one I put on there is called Simple Traditions. And that was uh, us having our family Christmas party. And I don't know how my sister-in-law, she's the one who took this picture. But uh, she somehow managed to get all the younger kids together and take a picture of them. And she posted it on Facebook. So I was able to get it for my layout. And, oh, here's where I try the white and decide it's going to need some backing, too. So I will do my title with that October afternoon, the letters. And the back side is black and white. It's just I didn't have any black on here. Well, on the camera, there is a little black. Anyway, I decided I would just go ahead and do the backing on my title because I didn't think anything was going to show up there. And <laughs> I don't know how I could have got it any more crooked, but I did. And it is straightened. It is straightened in the photos. However, I had noticed while sitting here that the matting stuff, all that those layers that's underneath the photo aren't quite straight and they're not fixed in the photos. Yeah. They might just stay the way they are. Since my little striped paper is so short, I put it down there. And, you know, I, I guess I could have cut it in half and made it just a little bit longer. But I cut the cane in half anyway and made it a little bit longer. And I'm tucking a little bit of holly in there. And I'm just going to tuck it here and there on the layout. And then in a minute, I'm going to go back and put some berries on there. But... Oh, here I miss I misplaced that little piece of striped paper. And I was like, oh my goodness, where did it go? You don't know how long I looked for that. It was laying upside down. And finally, I just, I don't even know what made me think to pick it up and look on the other side. But I did. Of course, I was moving everything around. And yeah, so I finally found it. <laughs> it is going to go on the layout. And I don't have a very big space to work with up there, so I can't put very much. But I put family get-together, and then I'm putting a little bit of the holly leaves and the berries. And I'm using my 1 8 inch punch for the berries. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm using my Tim Holtz um, craft pick. That's what it's called. Retractable craft pick. And I'm just putting a little tiny bit of glue on the tip of it and picking up those little tiny berries because they're just like impossible to do anything with without the pick. And then gluing them down. I'm kind of flipping them as I go so they can go on down. 
and the pick works really really good for that if you're putting something that small on there and that's it for my layout be sure to check all the links down there below and we do have more than usual for the hop this month and see what everybody else used and created with their Christmas in mind. It can be a previous one, and mine is. Mine is from several years ago. Or one, uh, the Christmas coming up. But yeah, there's my Mary, and let's see, there's the Chamel. I think a few of those things there are Chamel. Yeah, and Simple Traditions, and that flare, I think. I can't remember what it's from. I cannot remember. But since there was red paper with snowflakes, I thought it'd go good with my layout repeating it. And that's it. That's my layout. Check all the links out there below. And if you leave a comment, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And all those you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.